What up brothers, it's Club King returning. Welcome back to my channel for a cheeky little unboxing. Most guys on Facebook will know what this figure is before I even open it. Some of you guys on YouTube might not have seen the video I put up a couple of nights ago saying I wanted to do an interactive review on this figure. But if you did, that figure has now arrived. I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside. As you see, it's Superman from the movie Batman vs Superman, The Dawn of Justice. And as you see, it is the special edition, which features the kryptonite. Massive thank you to the seller out there in Hong Kong who sent me this. Really nice of him to be able to get me a figure, and at a good price, I will say. I'm, uh, I'm buzzing to have got it. I have kind of flip-flopped on this figure, to be honest, because when I saw the pre-orders, I really liked it. When I saw the Hong Kong bloggers shots, I sort of went back and forth. Some shots looked good, some shots didn't really do it any favours, and then I was like, oh, I'm not sure I want that figure now. Uh, but I will say Dean Knight's video, which I saw a little bit of last night, made it look really good. So I'm buzzing to get it open. So like I said, massive thank you to the seller out there in Hong Kong, kind enough to send it me. Some Hong Kong sellers want to slag other Hong Kong sellers off and then not fucking be able to find you any figures. Others want to bask in the lovely big channel that they built the sends on YouTube and tell you to look on eBay for stuff. So it's nice to prove that everybody is replaceable. Um, like I said... Thanks to the guy who did send uh, send me this. He does know who he is. Uh, I can't name him at the moment because I haven't discussed if he wants naming. So, massive thank you to him. So, let's get this piece open and have an uh, initial look before the review comes. So, out of the box, let's have a quick look. As you see, he's got three spare pair of hands. He's obviously wearing the fist. He's got the flying hands, the relaxed hands, and then the sort of lifting or carrying hands, the more flatter ones, so to speak. Wrist pegs, instruction manual, the special edition kryptonite, which has a switch underneath there, and it is very bright. Nice touch, I don't know what I'd use it for, but it's nice to have it. So, it's bright. The base, as you see, with the flip up emblem, which again, first time I've seen anything like it, is quite nice. And then moving up the figure. that is also very nice not many figures nowadays when i unbox them make me like mm, that's better than i thought and i've got to say this is definitely one that has done that i'm very nonchalant towards hot toys at this point i've seen that many sometimes as you know i buy them to review them to move them on sometimes i think i know what to expect but i don't and i've got to say out of the box and initial thoughts are this is better than I thought it were going to be. Is it perfect? No, but that'll become clear in the review. But that's just been a little unboxing. I hope you like that. Just a simple pose up on the flight stand. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed that short video. I said next will be the full review. And then because I got more questions than I thought on the uh, interactive review idea, I will possibly do the answers to that in a separate video i will also try and do a full comparison with the man of steel version and then i might do a pose kind of music video something like that so you get uh, plenty of footage of this figure hope it helps you to decide whether it's something that you want or something that you can pass on uh, and then like i said hopefully i'll leave you in a situation where you ain't got to ask no more questions because everything you wanted to know will have been answered so thanks for watching, for now, this is Clipper King, and I'm out of here.